take on Denny Torgensen. Kind of interesting also is the fact that the player that finishes higher in the standings, in this case the tournament leader Gene Stuss, has the opportunity to determine which lane he would like to start on. He's decided that he wants to start on the right-hand lane, which means he'll finish the match first and put the pressure possibly on Denny Torgerson to get a double to win the match yeah, last it's a frame. smart move, I would say. I think so. Make the rookie have as much pressure as you can. He doesn't look like a rookie now, though, does he? Different look on his face right now, you know. Well, he, he was reborn, you might say, when he picked up that 210, and Pete Couture definitely lost the shot he had in the match against Allie Clark. The lanes, are, as I mentioned, are going through a transition. Talking to Gene Stuss before we went on the air, he said he likes them when they hook a little bit. He wants to move in on the lane, and he'll be playing deeper than anybody, except Danny Torgerson, who's playing just a little more because of that tremendous rotation he puts on the ball. But Gene Stuss likes to get in and belly the ball, give it room, let it roll back up to the pocket. And uh, here again, he'll switch balls, go to a shiny surface ball that won't hook, hard shell, cross lane. Gene, a good spare shooter. A little thin, but he got it done. Thin is in, Mike. Here's a look at the style of our tournament leader, Gene Stuss. Remember, he's been here twice before and has yet to win. Look at the arm swing. You watch the tremendous upper body strength. He doesn't use his legs very much at the foul line, but watch what he can do with the upper body. You see that perfect position that Mike talks about at the top of the swing, and here comes that strength. He pulls the ball through. Look at him lift up on that leg and use that upper body to create the ball speed he needs. Moved out a little bit on the left-hand lane, Mike. He's got the job done. Good ball speed. Well, I think he's got a little, uh, little area to the right that that ball will swing back. Well, he can create area, too. Some of these guys, uh, a player of Gene Stuss's caliber, and here's a guy who never bowled professionally until he became a senior player. And he's been very successful. He's been player of the year out here. He's won a lot of money. In fact, bowled 300 on television. Won a bunch of money there. $100,000. Not too bad a payday for the double. Wow. Early lead. Here we go. It's just like the different players all of a sudden, isn't it? The last Com one was a scratch and fight and claw, and this one he's making it look easy. Another it look at that shot, Mike. Never ceases to amaze me what confidence can do to a player. He's just so much more relaxed now for the title match. You look in that ball go down the lane and the grips and the holes and the thumbs, it looks like it's falling apart going down the lane. But that's what, those grips actually really save a lot of wear and tear on the fingers of the players and the thumb, make the ball more comfortable. They get a better grip on it. You can see his position. Look at the oil on the side of the ball. That's where the rotation is going down the lane. That's where his ball track is. Oh, oh. is he going to get a break on it? Well, I think he probably feels pretty fortunate that he got only the 10 pin out of that. Going down the lane, that ball could have been anything. He actually pulled it well inside his target line. So with that gesture with his hand, is he, is he saying I went over the top of that one too much? I didn't see that gesture, but probably. He probably just pulled it left. Tennessee is getting a little fast with his feet, and when he does that, that's the mistake he'll make. He'll get the ball left. If he gets quick with his feet, the ball will go left because he, he, he tends to pull it left. He's kind of got quick feet anyway. Yes, he does. Yeah. Stuss, 55 years old. He's 6'2", 225 pounds. Married. His goal is simply to be successful on the senior tour. I think he's already achieved that. Yep, I would say so. And Sally says, that's a nice shot, hubby. Hubby, yeah. She's waiting for the check. He can have the trophy. She wants the check. How's that? Well, that check is, what, $20,000 for the winner here. Loser gets $11,000. Pete Couture took home $6,500. And Allie Clark, $5,000. For three. Again, the swing. There's the result. Uh, Mr. Stuss looks like he wants to end this losing streak in this bowling set. Well, maybe as you said, third time's a charm, Mike. Doesn't look like 191's going to win this one. Well, Dennis. Gets that four pin down, and we can see the the stains on his shirt. <laughs> as Denny, as you said, he's going to lose about 10 pounds here. Yeah, it very likely could happen. And here's another look at that last strike. You see the pin action. The head pin goes to the wall, comes back, and actually the seven pin coming forward got a piece of the four pin and made it fall. Pretty fortunate there. Good shot. Got good break to carry the four pin. Needs to strike here to put some pressure on Mr. Stuss. Perfect shot. Best shot he's made today, right there. Really stayed with that one, stayed down at the line, didn't try to force it back to the pocket, just let it roll. 
he's getting he's getting more comfortable out there all the time. Gene Stuss has his hands full, even though he has spare three in a row. Torgensen's basically even the match at this point. Well, it has to hurry. It did, but the seven pin stands, and we've seen that uh, kind of pin reaction before tonight or this afternoon. Gene Stuss has a little bit of a unique way of spotting. In other words, picking a target. Most players pick a target down the lane somewhere from the arrows on down. Gene Stuss tends to look down the lane and then look at the foul line as he gets to the right, right in front of him. Careful. We're gonna. We're going to take a look at his eyes and his release point. And here's watch Steens. He's looking out at the lane, out at the lane. Now he'll look down at the foul line right there. That's when his eyes went down. And here's his release. You can see him looking right in front of him. This is his strike shot, his release. And look at the upper body he uses to get the speed he wants and the rotation. He actually forces the ball, pulls it back to his target. Well, you've got to be strong to do that. And it's really hard to be consistent doing that. He, he seems pretty consistent. Yes, though, he does. He's a great player. <laughs> Again, no experience on the PBA tour at all. Came out on the senior tour as a professional and found a way to really enjoy the rest of his life. He's, uh, he's retired. He's gone through two major heart surgeries. Still out here going strong. Yep. Two bypass operations. Mm -hmm. Torgensen can take the lead. Got it. Got to cross. Get, get a break. Got a break. Only the six and the ten. Again, Danny will go to his spare ball, and the perspiration could be a problem for him as this goes on because it, uh, if his hands get sweaty, he could start losing the shot. I'm sure he's been there before, knows how to handle that. Cross lane at the six ten. Well, he gets him on the outside. We've got us a great match going for the championship here. Difference of $9,000 in this game. 20 to the winner, 11 for second. Boy, interesting. That, that ball looked so good going down the lane and hit like a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> a pumpkin? Come on, Mike. Yes, that was a good shot. That's for actually the best shot he's made that hasn't struck. Uh, got the ball in the pocket area. Good rotation on it. Just uh, maybe a little light and a little, little behind the hip pin. Spares are so important. Three pins the difference if he converts, which he does. Gene Stuss, though, with the strike up, leading by those three pins. We're in the seventh frame, getting near the end. Six senior titles. The turning point seems to be in all our matches, somewhere in that area, that, that eighth, ninth frame, right in that, that area where the player who is on a string of strikes can't seem to carry. Something happens. Oh, and there's the solid 10. And there it is. Just what you were talking about. You were really a prophet here this afternoon, predicting all these things. Well, I don't want the players to hear me predicting these things. They get mad at me. Anyway, Gene Stuss, again, the spares are so important. As you mentioned, there's three pins separating these two great players, three frames to play. We're coming down to a, a great championship uh -oh. final, and that'll get your heart beating a little faster, yeah. Gene. Careful out there. You've had two surgeries already. We don't want another one. You know, an added benefit here, the winner of this tournament will be given a, as we see the three pins difference in the score, a free trip to Tokyo, April 17th through the 20th for the Japan Senior Championships. Tommy Evans bowled in that last year and won that event. So uh, you think they're thinking about that at all, Japan, or are they just thinking about winning? They're thinking about each shot and just trying to make good ones right now, I think, and that's got to hurry. Oh my, almost. 